So pole boat start for our 25 horsepowers. Let's uh, see if they can keep it tidy this time. Big thank you to the Victorian Speedboat Club for um, putting on this race meeting. We're so excited to be here and just excited to be around boat racing. Nice to see all our old mates like Johnny Thomas. Nice to see you, Johnny. I haven't seen you for so long. Thank you, mate. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, we're mates. <laughs> I'm John's only friend. <laughs> when you're an official, you don't have many friends. Here we go. So racing... Uh, underway and it looks like uh the chance boat in with a chance out with a chance something with a chance <clears throat> gets a good start so too does uh the uh addicted boat and then we got zach murphy in the black bull having a little go there as well so stevie watson we've got the rest of the field, you can throw a blanket over them. The APBA 13 boat going very, very nice on the outside. Kelsey Dempster struggling with that broken nose cone. She's gone from chocolates to boiled lollies today, unfortunately for her. But, uh, oh, yeah, and that's had blow out there, Sammy. That's the nose cone. So uh, the, the props just let go um, because there's no nose cone to uh, guide the water around it. So she's going to really battle in this one. I, I just hope she can keep it straight for the whole race and get to the finish line is about all she's going to be able to expect out of that after that little bit of blowout she just had then and again yep so yeah it's just getting to a certain speed and the water can't get around the propeller because that nose cone's missing does show you how much the nose cones do do and makes them undrivable almost uh, above a particular speed once they're not on there so uh, Zach Murph has uh, got the uh, lead over Stevie Watson and then I think it's uh, Jess Crow. Uh, into third place. So Jess doing a fabulous job there. Next to come through is the Maverick with Tate Williamson. He's on the outside. On the inside is the Ramsey driven machine um, with uh, John Ramsey. And then it's APBA 13. Uh, that's Glenn Seckham. And Kelsey Dempster rounding out the field, unfortunately for her, just uh, she's going to struggle the whole way around with that nose cone issue. Hello, Corinne. It's lovely to see your beautiful face. How good is it? It's good to see you're in your S15 Dewey Nichols sign my boobs hat as well. Bye. See ya. Go and raise some money for Dewey. He needs a new engine. So, uh, back to the racing. Sorry, I was just having a chat with uh, Corinne, one of the ski racing legends just rolling through the pits there. But we're back with Zach Murphy, speaking of legends. He, uh, he came here with a 550 tunnel boat, but somehow he's wangled his way into Kim Bull's Black Bull boat. He's not bad, is he? He's kicked Aaron Hill out. And uh, then in second place is um, Stevie Watson. But uh, Zach's got a good break on him. Then Jess Crow, she's doing a wonderful job in third place. This is probably the battle of the race at the moment. John Ramsey on the inside. Uh, then it's Glenn Seckham. And on the far outside, it is the Maverick with Tate Williamson. So having a, a rip snorter there. Kelsey Dempster. You can see the spray there, Sammy, off the back of the boat. That's, the, that's that nose cone missing, so it's just all out of whack for her now. <clears throat> so a little bit of work in the workshop for uh, that crew over the... They'll probably be looking for um, maybe a donation, probably, from Grandad. Um, your bro, he's broke. He owns half the hour longer, ladies and gentlemen. So yellow flag out for Zach Murph as he comes through, getting the job done very nicely in the Black Bull. We have seen Zach Murphy blow one of these boats over backwards at Glen Maggie, so just keep an eye on him. He's a bit loose. He's kind of a goofy kid. All arms and legs. He looks like a prey mantis. Stevie Watson trying to make up some ground. Jess Crow doing a beautiful job up into third spot. Then it's John Ramsey into fourth spot, and uh, this is his first race back for 40 years or something, I think the boys said. Something crazy. On the outside of him is Glenn Secco Seckham. And then it is uh, Tate Williamson. So these two boys have got a little bit of a break on Tate at the moment. 
but he's still in the mix and still uh, still having a little bit of a look there. Kelsey's still pushing on as hard as she can. We've, we've seen she was super competitive earlier in the day, but uh, you just can't compete once you haven't got the equipment. Checkered flag comes out. And it is Zach Murph in the black ball getting the job done very, very nicely indeed. Back to Stevie Watson in the addicted. Stevie puts a hand in the air. He's pretty happy with that. He's really been enjoying his 25 horsepower racing, Steve. But he comes from an inboard mob, so it's good to see him out there in the little 25 having a heap of fun and driving it really, really well. This has been a great drive as well. Put your hands together for a bit of girl power. Jess Crow. Still a relatively new member to the Victorian Outboard Club, and she's picked up a trophy there, third place. Good on you, Jess. Well done in some quality field. And a drag race to the line here. Glenny Seckham, he's, uh, he's grown a pair down the final straight, and he's actually rounded up John Ramsey. And Seco comes in for fourth place in the APBA 13. And then it is John Ramsey into fifth. Into sixth is Tate Williamson. And Kelsey Dempster's going to round out the field with a uh, slightly ailing boat. But she's done a great job. She's kept it straight, Sammy, which is a testament to her ability because uh, they're horrible to drive once they've got a problem like that. So she's done very, very nicely and got to the end. So well done, Kelsey. Great drive from her as well under duress.